and uh, and I did a shot. Uh, my last shot was the jock strap shot. So I got someone to wear a jock strap, put a tee peg on the end of the jock strap, and knocked it off. The crowd loved it, but unfortunately, this was going out on TV, and I got hammered for it. And I'm thinking, but I mean, everyone's loved it, and I got hammered for it. Uh, my name is Jess Swain, and uh, and I do golf tricks and golf golf shows for a living, really. Golf clinics and golf shows, fun golf entertainment. I got down to a low handicap quite quickly. Um, uh, I got down to plus two. I got down quite quickly as a kid because my dad used to drop me off at the golf course on the way to work at seven. He used to pick me up at seven in the evening. So we used to play 54 holes. Yeah, 2006, that was the last world championship they had. So I'm still the current reigning world champion. And I'll, I'll, I'll take that to my grave. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> I was very lucky that I got involved with a, a guy called Simon Lee who was introducing polo golf Ralph Lauren into into Europe and he got me to do a couple of events for him. So I, it, it was, it, I got into it quite quickly and then they had a world championship, the first world championships and I got invited to go to that and it was pretty new to me and I was like, well, I'll do it for a bit of fun. It was only a bit of fun anyway. And, uh, and I did a shot. Uh, my last shot was the jock strap shot. So I got someone to wear a jock strap, put a tee peg on the end of the jock strap and knocked it off. The crowd loved it, but unfortunately this was going out on TV and I got hammered for it. And I'm thinking, but I mean, everyone's loved it and I got hammered for it. And then I got invited back the following year and I'm thinking, no, I don't, you know, just doing this is a bit of fun. This is just a bit of fun for me. But a friend of mine um, who I got involved in, in the show, Jeremy, uh, Jess Tomlinson, uh, he got me to do the, the, the show again. And we did some new stuff that people hadn't seen. So the moving ball stuff. So he chipped to me and as the ball came over the air, I hit it out the, out the sky with a driver. That was fresh. It was new. So the moving ball stuff was completely different to what other guys were doing. I ended up winning it. Uh, the second year and they've not had it since so i still you know this was 2006 so i'm still like the current champion but um it's uh, it was great fun and then it, from that winning something like that then kicks you onto it and i've had a fantastic time doing it i mean i've traveled around the world doing uh, clinics for corporates and at different tour events you know monty's great to work with uh, monty's great on a, on a corporate day loves loves having a go at the trick shots polter loves the trick shots very competitive in so we've done a few uh, Dave's the end, and he's very good at them. Nick, Nick Dirty, there's a lot of players that, 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 that we've had some fun with at the clinics and, uh, and have a go at it. The, the favourite shot for me is, is, the, is the moving ball stuff. So it's the chip and drive. So I'll get someone out to chip the ball to me and as it comes over, hit it out, Scott. The one that, we, the, the one that I did at the World Championships pretty much won it for me. But it's moved on from there where I get the guy to call the shot. Do you want it high, low? Do you want it left to right, right to left? So you're now shaping the moving ball as well as, so you're just taking it on a little bit further. Uh, and I like that. And then when that comes off, it's great. And um, going back to who's the, the best at it, I've got to tell you that, that Harrington, um, Padre Harrington, um, he does a happy Gilmore like I've never seen before. Uh, he absolutely flushes it, he nails it. So yeah, it's the moving ball stuff for me. It's the harder ones, it's now shaping the moving ball stuff. Gone are the days where I used to use hose pipes in drivers and all that sort of stuff, that's gone for me. Um, so it's using normal golf clubs, balls, shaping them, moving ball stuff, and you've got to try and educate people in the show. So I try and hit three areas for the show. First, it's got to be fun. It's got to be interactive for the people watching. Two, it's got to be different. Uh, it's got to be, they've got to be seeing things that they haven't perhaps seen beforehand, but they've got to be educated. They've got to perhaps understand how a golf ball works so they can improve their games. Three, they've got to be impressed with your ball striking and your shots. If you hit those three areas and they've walked away being impressed, having fun and learned something, then the job's done. All aboard the show, bro. All aboard. <laughs>